Our top story, sledding may seem like child's play, but for one woman, it nearly ended her life. That's why she, along with others, came out today to warn others. New specialist Alex Cabrero joins us now live from Utah County. And Alex, you visited one spot doctors and nurses see injuries from all the time. That's right, Dan. It is a popular spot up American Fork Canyon. And with all the snow we got in the mountains recently, especially up there at Mount Tipinogos, it was sure to be a packed day full of people there today. You may not understand Spanish, but laughter is universal. Oh, it's, it's awesome just to see the joy that they have and being able to come out here and do this. Del Coombs is with a Spanish-speaking ward in American Fork. The group brought some kids to Tibble Fork Reservoir in American Fork Canyon this morning to try something new. Many of these boys haven't ever gone sledding before, so this is their first time experience. Like Shi Young, who was from Spain and loved it. But for as much fun as they were having, this was also a great place to teach them about being safe in the snow. Be careful on jumps. The snow condition, if it's icy, that can even be worse. You go sledding a lot faster, it's a lot harder. You may have noticed all their sledders with new white helmets. They got them from Intermountain Health. Oh, hi, how are you? Who had a booth set up in the parking lot giving out helmets and reminding sledders injuries happen all the time. People forget that like the snow can be concrete, it can be hard, you can go fast, you can run into people. There's so many things that we don't really think about that and it's always going to be someone else, not yourself, and then then they end up seeing us in the ER. That's what happened to Makaili Young, who was injured in a serious sledding accident a year ago. Yeah, I broke almost 40 bones, had uh, nerve roots ripped out of my spinal cord. I had four surgeries in like a seven month span. She's getting better now and has become a big advocate of wearing a helmet for sledding. I think people think of sledding as like child's play and I think it needs to be taken as seriously as like skiing or snowboarding more so. Wearing helmets is a lesson where even first timers can become instant experts. Go home the way you came, um, have a good time and be able to go back to your family. <laughs> A couple of years ago, we were doing a similar story about helmet safety with Intermountain Health in that spot at Tibble Fork Reservoir. And while we were doing that story, there was a kid who was seriously injured while sleigh riding and had to be rushed to a hospital in a medical helicopter. It is a reminder that even though it is a fun spot, Dan, injuries do happen out that way all the time. And one of the best ways to try and keep yourself safe and try and prevent serious injuries is by simply wearing a helmet. Back to you. Yeah, definitely a good reminder there. Thanks a lot, Alex Herrera, live for us tonight in Utah County.